Hello friends, welcome to Tucson Tuesday. Today we're reading from Psalm 11 and 12 in the ESV. I've had one of those days where I have felt like I had all these things to do and I just haven't been able to get through all of them. And so I feel like this could be a good place for me to rest for a while and sit and lis listen to my own self or really I guess it's listening to the Holy Spirit speak through the words in scripture here today. So let's read Psalm 11 and 12 in the ESV to Psalm Tuesday. The Lord is in his holy temple to the choir master of David. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the wicked. Fire and sulfur and a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. The faithful have vanished. To the choir master, according to the Shemineth, a psalm of David. Save, O Lord, for the godly one is gone, for the faithful have vanished from among the children of man. Everyone utters lies to his neighbor, with flattering lips and a devil heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts, those who say, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are with us. Who is master over us? Because the poor are plundered, because the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will place him in the safety for which he longs. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. You, O Lord, will keep them. You will guard us from this generation forever. On every side, the wicked prowl, as vileness is exalted among the children of man. Hmm. It's good to know that we can take refuge in a Lord who is in his holy temple. Um, his throne is not, you know, destroyed. It's not gone, even if it feels that way. Hmm. And here, you know, the psalmist is complaining that there are no godly people at all. And that, you know, there's flattering lips, which means people are gossips and saying nasty things, which, well, hmm, that sounds a little familiar in our world, does it not? Lots of that going on. And it's shameful when you realize, oh, shoot, I've been a part of that. I've done that. That's been me. But his words are pure. And he says, you know what? I'm going to, I see it. I see it all. And I will arise now, says the Lord. Anyway, take refuge in the Lord. That is, I think, the advice today from the Psalms. To Psalm Tuesday, Psalm 11 and 12. Be blessed this afternoon.